everyone and welcome to my channel, The Navy Nurse. Today I'm going to be mostly talking to the girls um, and telling you how to exactly do your hair uh, when you are a Navy nurse. So when you're in the Navy, we do have hair regulations. Um, if you do have short hair, like up to here above the collar, you can just wear your hair down. Um, me, I've always had longer hair, so we have to put our hair up. Um, those of you also who have not quite as long hair as this, we also can put our hair in ponytails now. Um, the ponytail just can't extend um, past the second part of this collar here. So that is an option now. Um, personally, I don't like the ponytail even if i did cut my hair just because i think the military bun looks a lot more kept um that's just my opinion but you can wear your hair down and you can put your hair in a ponytail so um the reason i'm doing this video is just to give you an idea of how i do my hair um how i do like quote unquote, the perfect military bun. I'll show you um, my techniques for that. Um, when I had longer hair, I didn't have to use what I'm going to show you um, to make a perfect circle for my military bun, but I'll show you in a little bit what I use for my bun. Um, also, just a pet peeve of mine um, that I see quite a lot um, in the military in general is girls just with unkept hair i think it makes the uniform and it makes you look sloppy and i just think that girls should keep their hair nice and tight in a military bun when they are in uniform so anyway on to my military bun so i'm just gonna brush my hair out here and the thing is what i'm not when i'm not in uniform i like wearing my hair down because it's a nice um break from having my hair up and tight all day because sometimes it can just it can be uncomfortable because you know you're working well in my case i'm working 12 hour shifts with my hair tight in a bun and although it looks nice um sometimes it can you know just cause a headache but um that's why on my off days i just like not putting it in a bun so here i'm throwing that hair away okay so i like to wet it a little bit because when it's dry um it has a lot of flyaways so i'm just wetting the ends here a little bit and then i wet up top too and then you can use hairspray you can use gel to keep the ends down and all these little flyaways down. Um, I like to use uh, coconut hair, um, a hair kind of ointment, uh, coconut oil. Um, I don't wanna show it to you cause I don't know all the like copyrights and all the trademark rights. And then if I show it, I'm gonna have to pay like a large sum of money. So anyway, let's just call it coconut oil. That's what I'm using, okay? So I'm putting that in my hair. And by the way, thank you for all the emails and all the messages and all the questions that you guys have been sending me. It is overwhelming and awesome at the same time. I want to make sure I can answer all of your questions. So if I take like more than a week, I try not to take more than that to answer you. Um, I apologize, but it's just because the volume of questions and and, and comments. I just want to make sure that everyone knows that I'm listening and that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to answer all your questions to the best of my ability. So <coughs> when I, <coughs> excuse me, when I brush my hair, I get a lot of hair that comes out too. Um, cause I got a lot of it. Okay. So next thing I do is I use like a little comb like this. I like the little fine tooth combs. They're super cheap and very effective. All right, so today I'm gonna part my hair down the middle. Sometimes, you know, you can part it on the side or the other side, but I, I'm, I personally like the middle a lot. So I'm 
going to work tonight. I'm on night shift still and I uh, only have what these two days and then the weekend. So I have five more days of night shift for this rotation and then I can go back to days, which I'm super happy about because I'm not a night shift type of nurse. I, I really like day shifts, but I do my thing on night shift. So, <laughs> all right. So next thing I do is I put it in a low ponytail. So um, we can't do high buns like on the top of your head because that's out of regulation. So it has to be a low bun or a low ponytail, um, meaning they can't see the top of the bun or ponytail. If I were to put my head straight, you can't see it here. All right, and then I just smooth out my hair here to give it that nice sleek look. All right, and then the next thing I do is, okay, so I actually use a sock. So these are cut up socks, two socks. Um, I just cut the foot off so I can have like the long straight part. So what I do is I actually put these together. So one inside of the other, you can use one. I like using two depending on the thickness of the sock so that my, I get a, nice round thicker bun your bun doesn't have to be big um, you can have a small bun i just like a, a thicker bun so i combined it so i put one inside of the other and made one and then with this you just roll it so i'll show you what i mean there so now you have like a donut shape so you can actually buy these at the store um i think they sell them at walmart um here i haven't seen them as much uh you can buy them on amazon they're just hair donuts and you want to if you do buy or make your own you want to get uh the color that most closely matches your hair tone okay all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my ponytail through the donut. So now I have my ponytail through the donut like this. And then after that, I tighten and I'm going to put my head down and then just spread my hair so that it's covering the donut. Okay. And then after this, um, you want to get like a nice tight hair tie. So not like so different, not as big as this, but a nice tight one. Because what you want to do is put this right over the bun part. So it's going to hold the hair in. Okay, so it should look like that. And then all this remaining hair that's out, we're just gonna get it together and like circle it around the bun and then tuck it in. So for this part, you can use bobby pins all around. Um, what I'm gonna use is a, the big hair tie to wrap it around. So I'm just tucking it in nice and tight so that there's no flyaways. Okay, awesome. And I'm gonna take this hair tie and tie it around. Awesome. And I'm going to take my comb again because it kind of shifts when I do that. And then here you can, like I said, use hairspray to finish it off. My coconut gel is pretty great at keeping the flyaways down, so I don't need to put any hairspray. Also, the whenever I use hairspray, it like makes these little white flakes appear in my hair. 
all kinds of hairspray. Like it doesn't matter which one I use. It always like the like leaves white flakes. So if you have any recommendations on hairspray that doesn't cause the white flakes, please drop the comment below or let me know because I would love to know um, your guys' suggestions. So anyway, this is what it looks like this side. This is what it looks like this side and then the back. And then that's it. It feels really nice and secure. I can go on about my work day and be in regulation with my hair. And then that's how I do my hair when I have to be um, in uniform or even in scrubs. I, I put my hair like this anytime I um, have to go to work when I'm a Navy nurse. This is how I do my hair. Um, so yeah, if you have any comments, suggestions on um, maybe how to make it better or if you like it thumbs up and as always like comment subscribe if you so happen to like my videos and keep coming with the suggestions keep coming with the questions the comments I love them and I will see you soon in my next video